tell you that I love you 100 times a day, yeah. My name is Fernando Chavarria. I'm a local real estate agent that has a crazy goal of selling 100 houses in 2024. My name is Gabby and I am Fernando's wife. Uh, we've been married for 13 years. Yeah, so my husband um, came to me and said he has this huge goal of selling 100 homes and I truly believe that he can accomplish that and more. I think my dad's goal of 100 houses is very doable. I, th I know he can do it. There's no I think, I know he can do it. My dad can sell 100 houses in one year because he's very brave. He can go out and like talk to people like randomly, like say like, hey, if you want to sell a house and everything. But I know he can sell 100 houses in 365 days. Hi, Olivia. What's your name? Olivia. <laughs> I'm gonna let everyone know about my love, so I really hope you love me. Okay, so there are active termites there. There's termite damage all on the front wall of the crawl space. Jesus. So, man, I was extremely stressed uh, when the inspector called and said that there was termite damage because, I mean, this house, we worked really hard for this particular client. We got them all the closing costs. We also got them a big reduction. Um, and they're getting such a good deal on the house. And then the inspection report came back that they had termites. And I, and I know my husband makes real estate seem very fun, very easy, and like anyone can do this. And I really think anyone that has um, big goals and is dedicated can definitely achieve this, but it is a very stressful job. It is, um, you have to put in the work, and I see my husband put in all the extra hours, the extra mile. He goes above and beyond for every client. Um, every client is, he's looking at their investment as if it was for him. Ah, uh, it sucks because um, it's such a good house. Hope we can get everybody to agree that the seller needs to fix this and pay for this. Other side of real estate that no one talks about, it's a, uh, it's a roller coaster. Being in the business for seven years, I can see why some people can develop a drinking habit. So. Yeah, and the thing is, they have to fix this thing. So, if you're bringing it up, somebody else is going to bring it up. <laughs> there are more problems with this house, but if the seller can fix them all, my buyer is ready to move forward. Um, so, it's, um, Everything can be fixed. You just gotta stay positive. I think it'll work out in the end. Um, and if they do, they do. You know? And if not, well, we will terminate and we'll move on and find another house. So, there are plenty of other houses for sale. I have a listing in Marietta and I am about to meet the appraiser. We got the comps right here. So what we want to do is make sure that we have no problems with the value of the property and uh, how we have multiple offers so I need to let them know. You never call me by the way. This is just one that's just going to show up. I had to find out um, through the other agent and then their lender when they were going to show up because they never call me. They typically do. This particular one didn't, which is terrible. But we are gonna go and meet him anyways. We're gonna surprise him and just say, shaboom, here we are. The guy never showed up. I mean, I got there early. I waited for him for about an hour. He never showed up. This is crazy. First, you don't let me know. Then I find out with the lender that you're showing up at three. And then I get there way before three. You never show up. I mean, to this day, I still don't know if he actually did, but 
So now I'm just following up with the lender to see if the house actually got appraised because uh, that is the last hurdle that we have and then we close on this property. By the way, I'm so close right now on getting a house accepted. We put an offer for a buyer and we're just literally waiting. Um, we need that house. We need to have two, two by the end of the week. So working very hard to get another one. I was able to negotiate the seller to make all the repairs. To be honest with you, I didn't think they were gonna do so because those repairs were extensive, but they agreed. And they know that if they were gonna sell this house to anybody, this issue was gonna come up. So they went ahead and did the right thing. That was very stressful, but at the end of the day, my client's gonna get the house that they wanted. Okay, so it is Friday and it is 5.31 p.m. and we have one under contract. We need to get one more by Saturday. So we put another house under contract and we were able to negotiate almost the entirety of the closing cost. So I'm excited about that. So we're gonna have another family own a house here in Georgia. Working on uh, my appointments for tomorrow because we have to sell another house this week. So by the way, so yeah, the, the challenge is that we have to put two under contract every week, three in the spring and summer. This spring is gonna be crazy. Um, there's gonna be a lot of people that come in the market. So I'm expecting even multiple offers to go you know, off the roof. So if you're thinking about buying a house, the sooner you start, the better. Because as soon as you get into April, May, June, July, it's gonna be a competition. We are gonna be um, going against a bunch of people. So if you're a buyer, start now, especially if you want to move in the summertime. If you're thinking about listing your property, start preparing it now. So you list it in the hot season. Like we're talking about April, May, it's a great time. Even June, when you start stepping into July, the market, it's like slowing down a little bit because people freak out if they have families that they're not going to find a house. So they like renew their lease or whatever. Or they just don't move because they want to be in their new place before school starts. I think I'm like the only person here. There's nobody here. Right now I'm with the family. Uh, we just left church. So I typically don't work on Sundays, but since we have this challenge of selling 100 houses, we have to work today to make the goals happen. So we have to do what we have to do. Right now I'm on my way to show about five houses on the south side of Atlanta. I know my buyer's gonna like one of them. We're gonna put an offer and we're gonna be under contract today. And there's a problem. The foundation is cracked on this house right there foundation is cracked but we're gonna go and see another house now just looked at that house it's a no-go so we're gonna go to the next house this is the last house like we saw they like this house just the location um, they're still thinking about the location yeah so uh, it is the end of the day we are one house behind, so now we have to um, now we have to sell three houses next week, which is going to be amazing and challenging at the same time because we have we have two listings coming up, so we have to put them on the contract right away. But we, um, yeah, we're one house behind. It is a little chilly. I'm at the in-laws' house right now, spending time with the in-laws because um, we weren't too far away because they also live in South Atlanta. So we came to see them for a little bit. Um, but, uh, yeah, so. Estoy aquí con la suegra, la suegra número uno. Mi suegra favorita. La única que tienes, por eso es la una. Ue. Baby, es la única que tengo. Be careful. Hey, you. Hey, 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 back away. Officer, she's attacking me. 
Are you okay? <laughs> All right, quick update. Olivia is perfectly fine. She's fine, nothing happened. She just fell. Yeah. She just fell. Dad, you're gonna fi you're gonna find this somewhere in the ma in the memory card. But just watch what happened before. <laughs>